Namaste friends, welcome to Learn with Jay, empowered by Magic Needles. This day I am here with a beautiful wavy pattern named Pacific Wave. To make this uh, <clears throat> pattern, we, we require multiples of 17 plus 4 as the starting foundation chains. And this is worked over 2 DC together and 3 DC clusters. Okay. And I made this particular swatch with Aaron baby cake yarn with color code 3013. I shall be demonstrating with Aaron plain yarn light blue. I shall make the required number of chains and get back to you. I have made two repeats of 17 plus 4 chains. So which amounts to 38 chains and I am going to work the main with 5.5 mm my clover hook. To begin with, make 2 DC together over 4th and 5th chain from the hook. 1, 2, 3. So, an incomplete DC in the 4th. And next, incomplete DC in the 5th. And complete. And make 2 DC together over next 2 chains 2 times. 1 and 2 times. It's a very simple two row repeat pattern. So having done this, chain 1, 3 DC cluster in the next chain. So repeat it 5 times. This particular pattern can be worked with any type of yarn and any type of wood. Even a hook, you can use larger hook for thinner yarns too. So one made again chain one. Continue this for four more times. One, two, three, four more times. Four more three DC clusters you make with chain one spacing. I shall get back to you. I have made these three DC clusters five times separated by chain one spaces. Now chain one <coughs> make two DC together over next two chains. So repeat 2 DC together on each of the next 2 chains 3 more times. There is no chain space in between here. So one, two, three, four times. So again, the pattern uh, that is a stitch repeat begins. Work two DC together over <coughs> next two chains two times. This is the beginning of stitch repeat for this particular row. <coughs> Now again chain 1 and make 3 DC cluster chain 1, 3 DC cluster chain 1 5 times. So chain 1, 3 DC cluster, chain 1. So continue this for, for more, in 4 more chains. I shall also complete the clusters and get back to you. We have come to the end of this row here. We have placed the last 3 DC cluster, chain 1 and make 2 DC together over next 2 chains 3 times. And place a double crochet in the very last chain. So this completes our row 1. 
Row 2 is a simple row of one single crochet over each of the stitches and chain spaces. So may place one single crochet in each stitch across. So chain one turn for row two, one single crochet in each stitch across. And we have a chain space here, so one single crochet in chain space, one single crochet on the cluster one single crochet in the chain space so she should be very careful not to miss out any of the stitches so continue placing uh, the single crochet till the end of the row all across i shall meet you at the end of the row i have placed the single crochets on each of the stitches and and it counts to 36 and this 36 has to be maintained row after row for row 3 Either chain 3 and turn, chain 3 will count as double crochet, other, otherwise turn and make a twisted double crochet in the very first stitch. You begin and end the row with our double crochet and then <coughs> place 2 DC together or 2 SCs 3 times. Now chain 1 and make 3 DC cluster, chain 1 5 times, in each of 1 in each of the next 5 SCs, I shall make the cluster chain 1 5 times and get back to you. I have repeated after the 2 DC together here 3 times, chain 1, 3 DC cluster 5 times, now chain 1 <coughs> and make 2 DC together over next 2 single crochets 4 times. This completes one stitch repeat. So to begin with, make two DC together over next two chains, two SCs, two times. So you'll be using next four single crochets. Chain one, three DC cluster in each of the next five single crochets chain one So ideally you will be left with 7 single crochets, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, make after this cluster chain 1, make 2 DC together over next 2 single crochets, 3 times you will have to make totally. And place a double crochet in the very last single crochet. So this completes our pattern repeat. Rows 2 and 3 are our pattern repeat. The SC rows are the wrong side rows. So well, you can repeat rows 2 and 
3 to the desired length of your project and this is what I have done for this particular swatch here. Thank you friends for watching this video. Please do subscribe to Magic Needles channel and do not forget to hit on the bell icon so that you will be notified of the videos that we upload. Please do like and share. I shall be back with yet another pattern in the next video. Bye for now. Have a great day.